Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Hand on my heart, reset. You might be wondering why I'm doing this. Well, sometimes I feel so much. Emotions are coming out of my body. My heart is pounding, my mind is racing, and if I don't reset, I get to hear it from Katie. Let me tell you about Katie. She creeps in and she reminds me that I'm not good enough. She's irrational, emotional, judgmental, and a perfectionist. Katie is such a nervous Nelly. She's always working against the clock, doing more with less, and constantly trying to do what she can't just to prove her worth. Katie is the product of her productivity. Meet Katie, my anxiety. I developed this persona through the pandemic because I was feeling so many emotions. I didn't know what to do with them. I needed to find something to calm my mind. I don't know about you, but for the past two years, I've had emotions that were dark and others that were positive. I wanted to find a way to calm myself, to reset. My thoughts were complex. And with the uncertainty, we seek to understand, to control, to set forth what's next. With all my uncertainties, my emotions were morphing. Here's some examples. Great fear. It's when you finally find time to find gratitude. <sighs> Feels good. And then, all of a sudden, a gazillion thoughts start rushing through your head. <sighs> I forgot about this, I need to do that. <gasps> what about this account? <gasps> fear rushes through, and who has time for gratitude? Great fear. Frustrated. It's when you're frustrated about something, and you're actually rating yourself on your own anger. You're judging and you're shaming yourself about being angry about something. I can't believe I'm not over this. Oh, I'm so sensitive. Here we go again. Frustrated. I was feeling all these morphing emotions daily. It was increasing my stress and my anxiety. So I needed something to help me to clear my mind. I wanted to take these emotions out of my body, so I created this persona. Hence, Katie was born. Knowing about triggers impacts emotions. Katie. I don't know if you know, but our emotions is a chemical reaction in our bodies. If you had a Katie, can you imagine all the buttons she's pushing? It's not healthy mm. to live in a state of stress, anxiety, emergency, right? It messes with our thoughts, our relationships, our health, and our overall well-being. When we can identify the feelings and by naming them, that is emotional literacy. We are taking the emotions out of our body and into a persona. We are taking our emotions and separate them from ourselves. We can't control other people. The only thing that is within our control is our thoughts and our emotions. Emotional management. We are creatures of a habit, so we typically feel about the same way every day, unless something drastic occurs. So I want you to take a minute and think about all the emotions that you feel throughout the day and how that might impact you negatively. It might impact your decisions or how you view yourselves. Now let's think about more positive ones. Joy, excitement, happiness. Now let's put them all into a bucket. Did you know that oftentimes we dismiss our feelings, we shove them down, 
And every time we do that, we invalidate a part of ourselves. We're just letting the emotions sit in our body as though they are meant to stay in a bucket. We're not giving ourselves the time or the space to feel the chemical reactions in our own body. What if we could take the bucket and dump it and create a data set so that we could organize our brains in a more linear fashion to understand emotions? So here we have the biggest, the darkest one, and over here, the more uplifting light ones. And what if we could move up that data set so we could feel better daily. I have five strategies to help with that. So first, scan your body. Figure out where your emotions are. Two, think about what you're saying to yourself. Three, breathe in, breathe out. Your breath. Four, Get back into your body. Be present, be mindful. And five, think about something that brings you joy. So these five steps are just steps, but I want to run you through an activity that you can do daily that's less than a minute and you feel a thousand times better. Wouldn't that be nice? More joy, less Katie. Hmm? So with the participation of the audience here and remote, I would love your help. Everyone, please close your eyes. Now take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Keep your eyes closed. Now I want you to imagine someone that brings you joy, happiness, that makes you so happy or excited every time you see them. Oh, you've loved them so much. It could be a spouse, a partner, a classmate, a colleague, a neighbor, even an animal. Imagine them. Picture all of them, why you love them, what you cherish about them. Once you identify them, please put your hand on your heart. When you found that loved one that brings you such joy, hand on your heart. Now take a deep breath in and out. Now open your eyes. In less than a minute, we change the whole energy in the room because our thoughts impact our emotion. That is the power of emotional literacy and management. So I'm leaving you with two things today. One, identify your Katie. And two, take time every day to reset. My intention for you today is that at some point throughout your daily grind, when your emotions are really riled up, you find your hand back on your heart. Thank you.